10 Homemade Roller Coasters You Must See to Believe Hey, before we start the video, go check out HypeLetStar.com and take advantage of the current store-wide sale. From 30 to 50% off on everything, choose from many innovative and colorful designs and find something that suits you best. HypeLetStar.com, there's a bit of everything for everyone. Many people love the adrenaline rush that you get on board the most thrilling roller coasters. In fact, some people love it so much that they build their own roller coaster in their backyard, either for themselves or their kids or grandkids. You don't even need a huge backyard, just a lot of creativity, patience and some mechanical skills. If you need some inspiration for your own thrilling DIY project, buckle up as we show you 10 homemade roller coasters you won't believe exist. We'll set off the video with a roller coaster that 18-year-old Jaden Brooks from New Jersey built for his youngest sister in the family's backyard. The coaster reaches top speeds of 12 miles per hour when the cart rushes down some of the steepest slopes. It is powered by an electric cable, so it is fully automated and one ride lasts about 20 seconds. Although it is rather small, it is quite impressive what this teenager built and an amusement ride safety inspector who checked out the roller coaster said that he would give it an A for creativity and an even bigger A for being industrious. The following clip shows the first human trial of Abraham's backyard roller coaster built from wood and steel. The ride lasts nearly 20 seconds and leads through some trees in the backyard while offering a nice view of the neighborhood. Another example of creativity at its finest. Okay. Yeah, that's like the beauty curve right there. Look at that. This man built a roller coaster that goes through his whole backyard and around his house at a top speed of 8 miles per hour. With just over 50 seconds it is probably one of the longest rides on our list and most certainly looks like a lot of fun. Turn 4 down to the backyard straight away. In 2015, one man created a unique roller coaster that is U-shaped. The passenger gets strapped into a big cart before being pulled up all the way to the top of a 25-foot ramp by an electrical chain. Once the cart has reached the top, the chain lets go and the cart rushes down one ramp and all the way up to the other ramp before falling down again backwards. This roller coaster uses gravity to its advantage and is surely not made for everyone. <laughs> In 2014, a man from the Netherlands wanted to sell his house but decided to build a roller coaster through the house and its backyard before doing so. The car gets pulled by an electrical chain and down a big slope, and although it is not exactly the fastest ride, it is certainly one of the longest ones as it goes through all the rooms in the house before driving through the backyard. Now you have to admit that you don't see this every day. A lot of homemade roller coasters are made in the way that you have to drag the cart back up the star once the ride is finished or they get pulled up by an electrical chain. However, this one doesn't require neither of the two as it never stops and could be running 24-7. That is because the cart itself is powered by an electrical engine that turns the wheels and pushes the cart around the track. The motor is not very powerful though, so it might not be strong enough to pull an adult sitting in the cart up to the top again, and since the creator built the roller coaster for his children, it is also not the craziest ride on our list. Alright, next! 
In 2015, one of the attractions at the Maker's Fair in San Mateo, California was this very homemade roller coaster that gave everyone a chance to try out a backyard coaster. It was made with metal railings that were supported by wooden beams and had a racing car seat for a cart. Shannon Lloyd decided to build a roller coaster in the backyard and created this artwork over the course of one year and 10 months. It is built with wooden support and a 150 foot long metal track. The car that looks like a Jeep is pulled by an electrical chain and can fit one adult and one child, definitely making this one of the most fun rides on our list. Well, that's our roller coaster tour for the day. And that leaves just one. A pioneer in the backyard roller coaster game is this very wooden track that Kim Peterson from San Francisco, California created nearly 30 years ago. The termite offered only a short ride, but with a 57 degree drop, it surely had one of the steepest slopes. Once the ride had ended, the cart needed to be pushed up the starting point of the roof of the family's house again. And because it was made from wood, it didn't last too long, and after only a year and a half, the safety became an issue, and so after 115 runs, Kim and his family decided to say goodbye to their backyard roller coaster with a termite terminator party, which happened in December 1990, where they took the coaster apart with the help of family and friends. Nice knowing you. When John Ivers from Indiana retired and became a grandpa, he decided to build a roller coaster in his backyard in 2001. The Blue Flash is probably the scariest one on our list as it reaches high speeds from its steep slopes and even has a loop so that you even hang upside down for a moment during the 15 second ride. The coaster loving pensioner spent nearly two years building it from car parts and farm equipment and says he is still not bored of it to this day. The Blue Flash has even become a tourist attraction with people from all over the world coming to Indiana for a ride, but there are some things that you should know if you want to visit it too. John says people should be polite and call ahead to make an appointment. You should also keep in mind that the roller coaster is only open for outside visitors during weekends, supports a maximum weight of 200 pounds, and is not running in cold weather. Hey, check out the Hyblet store today and choose between some cool hoodies, t-shirts, accessories, backpacks, and more. Hypletstore.com, there's a bit of everything for everyone. Thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Also, don't forget to turn that post notification bell on so you never miss our uploads. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.